Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna see if we can get one of these frosted rose bubble tip NEMs out of this tank. Alright guys, so it's um, no secret of mine that uh, this Red Sea Max tank here is my Frosted Rose Bubble Tip farm. I do what I can to try and naturally propagate these uh, anemones in here as much as possible. And uh, I've promised to make one of these uh, NEMs because we're doing a bit of a trade for a few things. So I want to see if I can get one out for him today. Now typically I just upset the NEMs in this tank. I just uh, change the flow, I change the light, I put things like um, Aquaforest Life Source, uh, the mud mix and stuff in there, just to try and change up the conditions in this tank. And that tends to upset the NEMs enough to make them split. Then from there, normally what I do is I wait till they get into a spot that's easy to remove and then I pop in there with the cards, get the card under its foot, lift it off and put it into my little acclimation or my little anemone box. Today I'm not quite so lucky. They're all still attached to the rock. And I've had a couple of questions on the channel for people saying, how do you go about removing them from the rock? So I figured this is our best chance. I'm gonna just turn off some, uh, some pumps to this tank so we don't have uh, the pumps and flow going on. That should have stabilized things a bit. And I'll grab uh, my trusty cards, my expired debit card and uh, my even thinner. This is a really thin plastic card. We're gonna just open up the lid now and see whether we can get one of these NEMs out. Now, what makes this job a little bit easier is I am actually about to relocate this tank. So I will be draining the water right down and moving it across. And in which case, this rock will actually be coming out while I carry it into the other room. So I'm not quite so concerned about upsetting the NEMS by lifting the rock up, taking it out of the water, moving it around. It doesn't bother me at all. So what I might do first is just drain some of the water out of here so that I can sit the rock into the bucket when I'm ready to do that. All right, now we've got the water level down a little bit. It's gonna make it a bit easier to get up there, get all in there and um, see which of these NEMs we can get out. You can see a couple of them have uh, noticed the change in flow and conditions and are attracted. A couple of the big ones are still staying up uh, quite tall. So I'm gonna lift this rock up. It's quite handy to have a, um, a towel handy because it'll probably make a little bit of a mess, but at least with the water down, it won't be as bad. As bad. So I'm just gonna gently lift this rock up. There is a NEM attaching this rock to another bit. So that one's probably gonna be the easiest to remove. It could be as easy as that. His foot's gonna be half lifted up because he was attached to both rocks. And it turns out he's let go of that one. Yeah, his foot is half up. So I'm just gonna get my finger under that part of the foot that's half up and gently tease him up. And just like that, there's our anemone. Now he's a monster size. Normally the pups I get out of here are only about golf ball size. Now that guy looks smaller than that now, but when he opens up, he will be huge. So my buddy's gonna be pretty happy with that. I'm gonna um, pop him in the box so we don't lose him. And I might even go sit him in another tank just while we um, move this one across. I know they're doing very well in the uh, Media Proof Reef tank, so I'll go put him in there and um, I think my mate's gonna be pretty happy with that one. Just for argument's sake, if I was to try and lift another one of these NEMs off the rock, what I would do is I'd find one that preferably had a little bit of a foot sticking up or somewhere where I could at least see the foot. I'm just gonna gently turn this one around. So these, there's a couple in here that aren't too bad to get to. This one under here is probably, he's pretty deeply in the rocks. This guy here is not too bad. I'll see if I can get on screen. This little one here, I know they're all retracting viciously now because they don't want to be pulled out, but you can just see, if I get the camera in the right spot, just see that edge of the foot there. That is exactly where I'd get the um, credit card and I'd just gently put that card under that and start lifting him up. I might see if we can do it with another one just to get some demonstrations for you guys. All right, I've got the camera in about the best spot I can. And uh, in that time, that little guy has managed to um, get his foot up into a spot that's not gonna be so easy to get to. Although that one there is not too bad. I'm gonna just see, I'm just gonna switch hands, get the card in there. Key being, you've gotta get underneath his foot. You can't be lifting up from the side. You gotta get right under him. And we might be onto a winner here. He will put up a little bit of resistance and that's fine. 
You don't want to push him too hard though. You don't want, the last thing you want to do is split his foot. If you split his foot, it's going to be much harder for him to um, recover. This guy's putting up a decent fight. If I take him up out of the water, it might just upset him a bit more. He might uh, be a bit more willing to play the game, but he is hanging on pretty good. I have heard of other techniques where you can get uh, cubes of ice just to um, upset them a little bit. I can't say I've actually tried that, but I imagine it would work quite well. That guy in there has buried himself in there so nicely that I don't think I can get to his foot. I can only get to his side. Yep, he's got himself in a great spot. So this is my rock that's full of uh, really expensive anemones. Not that you'd know it. <laughs> that guy there is still probably our best bet. Particularly seeing there's a little gap in the rock. I'm going to get my finger under there. Another option here would be to actually snip this bit of the rock here. He would come with the rock then. I don't think that part of the rock's all that integral to this um, scape, so that would definitely be an option to get him out. Alright, I've made the executive decision that um, I'm not going to risk upsetting any more of my NEMS. I've got a uh, monster one out of the tank. I probably could, if I was really, really needing to get one out, I probably could keep prying away with the credit card just to try and lift up the edge of the foot. As soon as you lift up the edge of that foot, you've got him because you can get something under him. You can just gently lift him up without risk of ripping his foot. Or the alternative was to get my bone cutters and cut a bit of that rock, which there was one there that was... His foot was stretched across sort of two bits of rock and I could separate them. Once I got one bit of rock free, I'd be able to lift him up gently. But um, rather than upset these guys too much, they're going to be pretty upset because I'm moving this tank. We've got a good one out for my buddy. I think we might just call it a day at that. Um, that one was too easy, so um, I'm guessing the next one's going to be too hard. And um, I don't want to uh, risk getting a bacterial infection and melting them all. So... We've got our one here. We'll call it a day at that. If you have any questions, next time I get one out and I have to use the credit card or, um, or the thinner card, the thinner bit of plastic, I'll be sure to grab the camera again. But um, if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to shoot them through. Uh, if you liked the video, give the thumbs up. And as always, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It costs you nothing. It takes two seconds of your time and it helps me out greatly. Till next time, guys, stay safe and keep reefing. Mm -hmm.